68 countries in Washington all wanting to know what the new U.S. administration will bring to the fight against ISIL. The U.S. says it's the priority in the Middle East. Degradation of ISIS is not the end goal. We must defeat ISIS. I recognize there are many pressing challenges in the Middle East, but defeating ISIS is the United States' number one goal. While the U.S. Secretary of State pledged renewed resolve against ISIL, there was no pledge of more U.S. troops or money. In fact, Tillerson asked allies to do and pay more. He also said winning on the battlefield would need to be followed by stabilizing the region and winning the war of ideas. But the battle is ongoing. The fight for the northern Iraqi city of Mosul is in its fifth month. Some Iraqi units have taken heavy casualties. Civilians are dying in large numbers. And as delegates from 68 nations met here, many were keeping a close eye on the deadly terrorist attack in London, especially Boris Johnson, the UK Foreign Secretary. His US counterpart, the Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, issued this statement. On behalf of the United States, I express condolences to the victims and their families. The American people send their thoughts and prayers to the people of the United Kingdom. We condemn these horrific acts of violence, and whether they were carried out of troubled individuals or by terrorists, the victims know no difference. But two of the most important nations when it comes to the fight against ISIL weren't here, Russia and Syria. Both nations have recently stepped up attacks against ISIL positions in Syria, and both have pledged that they are willing to do more. But because of domestic allegations against Russia with election tampering and also the Trump administration's refusal to work with Iran on anything, bringing those two countries on board anytime soon looks remote. Nathan King, CGTN at the State Department in Washington.